How do you deal with it when one partner wants something and the other partner doesn't? I'm Kathy Bartilli from TheIntimacyDojo.com. I'm Andy Cortland from LevelUpSex.com. I'm Raj. I'm married to Andy. <laughs> and the, it is a challenge when we're kind of taught that if you're in a relationship, you're supposed to have sex or you're supposed to support each other. Like there's things we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of that is actually negotiable. Right. And we don't, in our society, we don't talk about it. And we get emails a lot, people saying, my partner doesn't want to have sex with me. How do I make them want to have sex with me? How do I make this happen? Because they feel like they have to get it in their relationship. Mm -hmm. But there can be a lot of shame and discomfort when one person wants something and the other person doesn't. How did you guys, you're in a relationship, wonderful relationship, where you don't want to have sex right now? You, do, you would like to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did you deal with that? Because that's, especially around sex, there's so much shame and pressure in our society. And I love that you, you both seem so relaxed and cool about it. <laughs> like, how did you deal with that? Because yeah. I think a lot of people could benefit from, like, mm-hmm. they would like to hear. Like, how did you get to the place where you can be so loving and supportive of each other and, and have this disconnect where I want this, I don't want this? Right. So... First, a lot of help, a lot of talking to friends, a lot of books, a lot of work with coaches. Mm -hmm. Um, And I remember this moment, do you remember this? Where the narrative had been that I don't want sex and he does. But we realized that I actually do want sex with you, it's just not the kind that you want. So I'll Um. say, how about I peg you? And you'll Look, I look at this face, it's just not, I, I love pegging, it's one of my yeah. favorite Can things. Can you define pegging for Oh, our yes, so pegging is fucking a guy in the ass with a strap on. It is my most favorite activity, and Raj is just not into it. So, actually, I do want sex with my husband, just not the kind of sex that he wants. And then the kind of sex that he wants with me, where it's like, loving, warm, caressing, <laughs> like, let's, let's stay together forever. I'm like, can we just talk about staying together forever and, like, make plans to take over the yeah. world without all the, like, cuddly shit? Yeah. So, it's, it's not so much that we don't want sex with each other. We find each other super attractive. Like, I think you're super hot. You think I'm super hot? Yep. Yeah. I do. So, but it's that we want different things. And so, one of our coaches talked to us as saying, you have different movies playing in your head. Mm. So, my movie is, like, pushing him down and fucking him in the ass. And his movie is, like, loving, caressing. Yeah. Things that don't sound good to me anymore. Yeah. And part of that has to do with all the other transitions we've been going through, particularly around gender. Yeah, and yeah. we'll be talking about yeah, that. Yeah, we'll be talking another... about that a lot. Yeah. Right? As as you know, uh, one partner or more partners, you know, their relationship as their identities start changing, mm-hmm. their needs and uh, start changing too, and that might cause a disconnect in, yeah. in sex. And and just like many of you. When that started to happen initially, I was in the place where I was like, how can I make that yeah. happen, that change, make this change? It's how easy to want, because yeah. if you feel like you have to get it from your partner, it's like, right. that's a need I have, how come you're not yeah. giving it to me? Right. Yeah, that's the first thing. And secondly, as a partner, sometimes you might feel inadequate. You yeah. might feel like, oh, this is something that my, is my fault, or if I were better at sex, yeah. then this might not have happened. But it's important to realize that that's not always the case. It's not something that's under your control, and uh, it's not not your fault most of the time. It's just sometimes that people change and their needs change accordingly. He's really awesome in bed and I highly recommend it. <laughs> We're just not compatible with each other. <laughs> no, I, I think that's beautiful. So there's a reframe and it's not that I'm rejecting, we just don't like the same same expression. Right. Um, so that's really powerful. And then just like, okay, we're still okay. Yeah. And we're still, we can still love each other mm-hmm. and, and be cool, even if we don't want the same thing. Yeah. And I think when we realize, like, we'll be talking in another video about opening up a relationship, when we don't think we have to get it from that one person, yeah. which then makes us feel desperate. Like, yeah. I, if I can only get air from you, I'm going to make sh- like, I'm going to be like, dude, give me air. <laughs> um, but if, if, Oh, I can I can have this amazing connection and love with someone, yeah. and still get some needs met outside the relationship. That makes us feel powerful and a lot more free yeah. in our relationship. Yeah, and one thing I'm gonna say, which is something that I'll probably repeat in our other videos mm-hmm. too, is that it's okay to feel sad about what was. Mm-hmm. We can right. grieve for the past, yeah. right? Yeah, like I feel sad for you know the fact that we had a sex life once, which was really amazing, and that changed over time. Yeah. We don't. We're not compatible anymore. That doesn't mean that I don't support this, I don't want the relationship. Yeah. So it's okay to want those feelings even, or have those feelings, 
even though it, they might seem a little bit contradictory yeah. to each other. Right. Being sad doesn't mean that you're not being supportive. Yeah. Yes. That's beautiful. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate you sharing. So if you feel like sharing, tell us where your disconnects are with your partner and what you'd like to see happen with them or how we can help. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Thanks very much. Bye.